In this video I want to show you how to connect a MIDI keyboard like this one to Cubase. Yeah, I'm just going to guide you step by step through this process. And we're just starting by connecting the keyboard to our cable and then connecting the cable to our computer. And it's all done with USB. And now the keyboard is turned on. In this case, I don't need to switch anything on. It's already powered by the USB connection. And now I just need to go ahead and open Cubase and create a new project. The drivers of the keyboard should have been automatically installed by now. But if you're experiencing any problems, you can also do that yourself. Just go online, find the driver for your hardware and install it on your computer. Okay, we're now in Cubase and in order to check if we successfully connected that MIDI keyboard to Cubase, we just need to press a few buttons and we can already see that in the activity monitor, which you can see in the bottom right corner, we got a signal going on, which is really good. If you don't see that window in the bottom right corner, just right click anywhere and activate the input output activity monitor. And there we have it. And if we now want to reuse this keyboard to play anything, just right click here, add an instrument, for example, in my case, it's Serum, add the track. And before we play now, let's make sure that our routing is correct. So under routing, we can find our MIDI inputs for this instrument channel. And if it's not connected, nothing is going to happen, even though we got a signal here. So we just need to select the correct device, which is the MPK Mini 3 and and now as you could hear and see that worked and we got a signal and we can now go ahead and just press record and play something. Press pause, double click here and you can exactly see what you played and you can mess around with the MIDI notes, etc. And that's pretty cool. Okay, let's now go through some problems that you might experience when wanting to connect your MIDI keyboard to your computer. So problem number one, it's all connected, it's all fine. But when you hit a few notes, nothing happens here down there in the activity monitor. And the first thing I would recommend in this case would be to simply restart Cubase, reconnect the keyboard with the USB. So just plug it out, plug it in again and see if it's working. A second problem could be that you have got your keyboard connected, you got a signal here, you selected the right input that could be your keyboard or it could also be all MIDI inputs but still nothing happens so if everything is connected correctly but you still can't hear anything you should go and check your audio input and output connections go to studio studio setup and then first of all check your audio system is the correct audio interface selected in my case it's the built-in audio um, need to select the correct one and then switch um, click on there, in, out and out should all be visible. Then go ahead and check the MIDI port setup. Is your MIDI device listed here? Is it also visible and active? Third thing you should check is your audio inputs and output connections. So if, if you press F4, you get to the audio connections interface. And here you should either check your outputs, if that is connected correctly, in my case, I'm not using the outputs, I'm using the control room and um, you should definitely put that to your interface and if we try now, it's working. 